Hello, third graders. Welcome back to Science Lab. Boy, I sure do miss you guys. Um, we are going to go right back into our learning about plants and how they live and their different parts. And part of this week's lesson is going to involve you doing an experiment with plants in your backyard. So um, watch this video as many times as you need to, okay? Um, let's, um, I've done this before for a couple of you guys, but let's just go ahead and do the whole thing over. Let's assume Mr. Kirchman is a jerk and that Mr. Kirchman has a mouse. Now, you all know that mice, like you, like all animals, like all living things, need food, water, and air. Now, if I was a real jerk and I took this mouse and I dropped the mouse into a bag and then I added some air to the bag and some food to the bag and some water to the bag and I zipped it closed. I think we can all agree that that poor little mouse would die pretty soon. That of course is because he would run out of food or water, but more likely he would run out of air pretty quickly. He would do what's called suffocating which is why you should never put a plastic bag over your head, okay? Now, now we know that. Now, um, every one of you who's uh, been into a restaurant can probably agree uh, that though there might be some plants in the restaurant, we have never seen those plants eat. They never order a Happy Meal from McDonald's when they're in McDonald's, uh, but they're a living thing. So somehow they need food. And they need food through a process called photosynthesis. Uh, if you follow my instructions, you've already seen the video about that. So um, here's our experiment. Um, so to do this experiment, you need two things. You need a Ziploc bag and you need a plant. Now I have a plastic plant, so just pretend with me, okay? Let me tilt the screen so you can see a little better. All right. So what you're going to do is take a nice healthy plant it can be a tree it can be a shrub you probably don't want to use a potted plant so try to find something that's growing in the ground okay and then <clears throat> what you're going to do is you're going to take the ziploc bag and place it over a group of leaves on a branch just like so Try to keep the bag puffy so that it has some air in it. Uh, the video mentioned that one of the components or parts of air is something called carbon dioxide. It's the gas that you and I exhale. So now you're going to take the Ziploc bag and real carefully make sure it's sealed all the way as tightly as you can. You'll notice the only place it's not sealed is right around the stem here and you can't seal it there. Now, I didn't put any food or water in there uh, because it's not a mouse, it's a plant. All right, and then once you've got it sealed in there, um, leave it alone. You can check on it every day if you want, but kind of just leave it alone for a week or so. And I want you to think about this um, in the meantime, and there are some questions on my lesson that I want you to uh, type answers to me. So question number one, if this plant does not get air, what will happen to it? Okay, the next question I believe is if this plant doesn't get water, what will happen to it? And the third question is, if this plant doesn't get sunlight, what will happen to it? So take a few minutes and um, type those answers in and, and submit them to me so I can just kind of see what your thinking is. Uh, the movie helped a lot on those questions. Um, in the meantime, this plant's going to be sitting out in the sunlight doing what plants do, um, doing what leaves do with that process called photosynthesis, which we'll learn more about later on. All right. In the meantime, I hope you're all healthy and well, and I hope you're all glad to be back in school because I am glad to be back teaching. I'll speak to you later. Bye for now. 